Hey everybody, hi, John Oates here, and welcome to a very special edition of Norm's Guitar of the Day. Um, of course, this guitar is not for sale, but it's got an interesting history and I thought uh, you guys might want to check it out. Come on in. And 1958 Fender Stratocaster. If you've seen me playing on stage with Hall & Oates since 1973, this is the guitar I've been playing. It's an old war horse, but uh, it has stood the test of time. It's a very unique guitar that I bought from a friend in New York City for 150 bucks back in, uh, I guess I bought it in 73. And uh, it's unique in a lot of ways, and we'll go into uh, some of the details on it. But it's very light wood with a really deep belly cut, which I love. It's very comfortable. And as so many guitars, which was kind of a popular thing to do back in the 70s, to replace a lot of the parts with brass, I've got the tailpiece blocked because I never did use the whammy bar. And let's see if I can even read the serial number. It's almost worn away. That's uh, 027896. The guitar had humbuckers in it, which for a Fender Stratocaster in the early 70s was very unusual. In fact, Seymour Duncan said to me one time, he said, Man, he said, that was the first time I ever saw anyone with different pickups in a Fender Strat. We'll get in a little bit more of that, but it's got Gibson tone knobs, which is kind of unique. Brass piece here, brass saddles. And I had retired this guitar from touring, um, and I sent it to the custom shop to have it reproduced. And they made me a replica of it. And while they were doing it, I had them replace the pick guard and the picks with a standard three pickup Stratocaster style, traditional Stratocaster style. And it sat for a bit like that until Seymour Duncan said to me, hey man, you got to restore that guitar to um, its original shape. So I sent it down to him, and when I did, he took the, uh, the uh, Strat pickup configuration off. I sent him the original pick guard. And lo and behold, this is a 59 PAF right back here, an original. And the neck pickup was an actually old Seymour Duncan pickup, one of his first pickups from the early 70s. So then Seymour said, let me give you a, a humbucker a replica, you know, PAF replica that he's making currently. So he put that thing in there now. Five position switch. And the neck is just... It's got that real slim C shape. And it's just, uh, this neck is just, I don't know. It's, I don't know if it's because I've been playing it for years or what, but it's just meant for my hand. Over the years, the Fender thing's gone, but it's an original neck. Everything on the guitar is original. And, uh, you know, it's like one of those things where, you know, you know how it is when, when you're a guitar player and the guitar just fits you like it's part of your body. Um, it's just a, uh, it's one of those things where I can just put my hands on this thing and just everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be. I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, we've got some, what do we got, showers up here. And these were replaced uh, over a period of time and a very special uh, guitar strap that I found from an old Western belt. Had someone make it for me. But uh, this guitar has been through it all. And it's been on every Hall & Oates record that I've ever played. Uh, unless I was playing a 12-string or an acoustic, this is the guitar I've been playing. And uh, I did bring it back out on tour these last couple of years, and I'm sure glad I did because it, it has a sound that's really unique. Oh, the other thing was when we took the pick guard off, underneath the pick guard, someone had routed out the entire body. And it's, it's really crude and, and kind of ugly, but it's, it's almost like it's chambered at this point. And I think it has a lot to do with its resonance and its sound. Uh, it has a sustain and a resonance that's really, really cool. Mm. So um, I guess at this point now, we should just uh, kind of plug it in and 
check it out, right? All right, here we go. All right, well, now we got this bad boy plugged in and uh, we'll go to the uh, It's really, uh, really useful to get uh, those tones kind of strat like, but at the same time, it's got this, uh, you know, it's got that humbucker thing. Um, you know, I can do, uh, I like the kind of snap it's got to it. Uh, you know, you might have heard this one, you know. You might have heard that on a record at one point uh, or another. Um, Catch you next time.